properties of limits. So we have already discussed how to solve for the limit of a certain function. So as well as the continuous to determine whether that given function is continuous or not. And we have learned that um, in order to determine if that function is continuous or not, so all we have to do is prove that um, it is defined at that point as well as the limit exists. Now, regarding limits, yes, there are properties that we have to remember in dealing with limits. Okay, It's because um, functions can be added, can be subtracted, can be multiplied, can be divided, and even um, applied by logarithm and even exponents. So therefore, we have to we have to determine how to or how to deal with limits when uh, faced with such situations. Okay. Now, before we start with the properties, um, let us first assume that the limits that we will be using here, okay, just like for example, the limit of f of x, the limit of g of x, the limit of f1, f sub 1, x, so on, until f sub n does exist, okay? Put that in mind that the limits we will be using in these examples do exist. Okay, so for the first property, we have here the sum rule. So obviously, this is when you add limits. Okay, let's say for example, you are given f of x and g of x. So in order for you to solve for the sum of the limits of the two functions, what will you do? Okay, so very simple class. Okay, for example, you are asked for the limit of f of x plus g of x as x approaches a. What's the limit? So obviously, kukunin mo lang yung limit ng f of x as it as at x approaches a and then you add it to the limit of oh, by the way can we cor correct this class this is g of x this is g of x class ha? g of x can we correct so whatever their values the limit of f of x as x approaches a whatever that value you add that to the limit of g of x as x approaches a Okay, simple as that. When it comes to addition or sum, how about when it comes to um, uh, we have here power. I know, um, product rather, I'm sorry, product. This one. There. By the way, uh, when it comes to, to sum, okay, just add it. How about when it comes to sub to difference? So, magbabago lang dito class sa operation. Parang ano yan, parang, parang algebra din or algebraic expression din na mag add ka lang ng values. Okay? How about when multiplying? What happens to the limits? The same class. Whatever the value of the limit of f of x as at x approaches a, just multiply it with the limit of by the way, again, ha, this is g of x. g of x, can be correct. g of x as x approaches a. Okay? Ano, parang ano lang? In common lang. Oo. Yan ha, sa, sa sum, tsaka sa product, as well as sa, ano, sa, sa difference. What if in um, division, can we divide limits? Yes, we can. Okay? And in order for us to, to get the limit or the, the quotient, of limits. So simply get the value of the limit of f of x and divide it with the limit of g of x. But take note plus. Take note that the limit of g of x should not be equal to zero. Why? Recall that if your denominator is zero, okay, whatever number we have here, for example, 4 or any number, kahit malaki pa yan, basta yung denominator is 0, so automatic it is undefined. So therefore, hindi siya pwede. Okay? So dapat lang na yung limit mo is not equal to 0. Okay? So that's, that's our um, property when it comes to quotient or division. Now, in 
adding class, in adding limits, it could be na hindi lang dalawa. Kasi dito sa, sa example natin, sa formula natin, sa format, dalawa lang no, dalawang function lang, f of x, tsaka g of x. But what if ma'am, two or more? Meron tayong halimbawa limang functions na kailangan kong i-add. What will happen? Class, the same. Okay, the same lang. Halimbawa, meron kang f sub 1x, f sub 2x, f sub 3x, f sub 4x, f sub 5x. So, limang function that you have to add. So, what to do? So, just solve for the limits of each function. And then, just add them. Okay? Simple as that. The same class with, with subtraction. If you are if you are to to subtract five functions or more, just get the limits of each and then subtract them. Okay. The same class in product. Okay, we can multiply two or more um, two or more functions. Kumin mo lang yung bayan ng limit na yan and then multiply it. Okay. Now we have here another property class, which is what we, what we call constant function rule. What does it mean? Halimbawa, the given function is a constant. Instead of an equation, di ba usual na given sa adding a function is um, f of x is equal to x plus 1. Or y is equal to x plus 1. Equation siya. Okay? Merong variable na x. Diba usually? But what if the given is just a constant? Halimbawa, you are asked, limit of 5 as x approaches 10. Halimbawa, what's the answer? To the limit class of a constant is equal to the constant itself. So kung ano yung, yung given mo na, kung halawa, yung pinapashanap sa iyo is um, limit ng isang constant, so, the limit of that is that exactly. Yan yung constant mismo. So, kung ano dito yung number, constant refers to a number class, yan din yung limit niya. Can you follow? So, that's another property. Another property is this constant multiple rule. Ano naman ito? Yung isang function, minultiply mo siya sa isang constant. Can you follow? In this case, class, yung constant natin is itong letter k and yung function natin is itong f of x. So, halimbawa, um, 2y. Okay, given ka ng y is equal to x plus 1. So, yung y daw, minultiply mo sa 2. So, 2y. Okay? So, how are you going to do that? So, simply, kunin mo muna yung limit na given function. Ito. Kung ano yung limit niya, just multiply it with the constant. Can you follow? Halimbawa, you are given um, 9 as your constant and then you are given y is equal to x squared plus 1. Halimbawa lang class. Yan yung, yan yung function or this is already your f of x for example. So, you are asked to, to get the limit of let's say 9 f of x. So, ano yung gagawin mo? So, kunin mo muna yung limit ng f of x mo. ba? As kung saan siya mag approach and then just multiply it with the constant. Ganun lang. Mm -mm. Okay? That's how we treat limits. Okay? What else? Um, another class is we have here a power rule. Okay? So, kung if, if we have the sum rule, product rule, we have the power quotient rule, and we also have this power rule. What is this power rule? Power class, or yung meron tayong exponent. Okay? So, if for example, you are given f of x, so let's say you are asked to, to get the um, square or cube of f of x. What's the limit of f of x cube? Alimbawa, or what is the square of, uh, what is the limit of f of x to the fourth power? So, ano yung gagawin? So, yung gagawin mo lang class, like you said, again, evaluate first the limit of that function before raising it to the exponent. Para 
Parang katulad din sa ano, sa kanina sa subtraction, addition, and multiplication, na kukunin nyo yun na yung limit ng function na yan before adding it to the other limits. Ni follow? So, nauuna palagi yung pag-evaluate ng limit. Hindi mo pwedeng gawin na na i-add, nabawa no, i-add, meron kang given na dalawang function, f of x tsaka g of x, hindi mo pwedeng i-add yung dalawang equation. No. You cannot add them, but rather, get the limits of each, and then, before ka mag-add, or mag-subtract, or mag-divide, or mag-multiply. The same here sa power rule. Kunin mo na yung limit, evaluate mo na bago mo erase sa certain exponent or power. Okay? And regarding this power, we also have this rule regarding sa radicals. Okay? Where, as you can see here, square root of, ano na square root? P root of. P. P is the, the nth root. So, what if you are asked to do that? Let's say, for example, what is the nth root of what is the square root of f of x? What is the cube root of f of x? So, para malaman mo yun, kunin mo na yung limit ng, ng function na yan before getting the cube root or square root or fourth root. Nakukuha nyo? Like I have said, before doing any operation, may it be addition, may it be ad, um, subtraction, multiplication, you have to evaluate first the limit. Again, ta sa... Um, when we are dealing with limits, ito yung dapat na gawin. Oo. Okay?